Hey guys, Bruno Souza here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create amazing YouTube thumbnails in just a couple of minutes. No matter if you're a beginner or you're an expert, you're going to be taking away a lot of amazing things from this video. So starting off, the best way that I can explain to you the process of creating YouTube thumbnails is that a lot of the work isn't actually done when you're creating the thumbnails itself. Instead, a lot of the work is done when you're thinking about what do you want your thumbnail to look like? What do you want your channel art to look like? And so I have a couple of examples here. Here you have Nick Nimmin, who's somebody that teaches a lot of YouTube growth. And if you take a look at his thumbnails, you're going to notice that they all have a couple of things in common. So first off, you don't get flashy colors. You tend to stay colors on brand with the YouTube with the YouTube colors, which are black, white, and red. You always have his face in it. And then it's always like his face and then an image. And so that's a type of style that you can get. On the other hand, you have people like Alex Becker, who they have really simple YouTube thumbnails where it's literally the same picture of him. Slight variation on that one. Um, and then just the same background and then all that changes is the text. And so there's really a lot of different ways that you can get started. But the number one thing that you have to do before you start creating your YouTube thumbnails is really ask yourself who inspires you and what type of thumbnails do you like? Because if you know what the end product is supposed to look like, then it makes that process so much easier because now all you have to do is mimic that and that is completely okay. And so just go through a couple of the channels that you like and see how those creators are creating their thumbnails. So assuming you have done that or you have an idea or maybe you don't have an idea of where to start my favorite tool for creating youtube thumbnails is going to be canva.com now this is a tool that i've been subscribed to for over two and a half years now it's been literally the best tool i found for easy creation and the way that we're going to use this tool is we're going to go over here to create a design we're going to be going over to youtube and then here you have all the different youtube things that we want but we want the youtube thumbnail so as this is a beginner video, we are not going to be talking about a lot of advanced things like um, color wheel, tiatric colors, or I'm really going to be trying to keep this as basic as possible for you guys. And the, the things that you're looking for are one, a contrasting background, two, you want your text to pop out. And then three, best case scenario, you are including a human face or some human element into your photos. So before we get into the Canva templates here, the first question that you might have is, well, how do I get a bunch of, how do I get a bunch of pictures? How do I get a bunch of uh, human faces for my YouTube thumbnails? And once again, this also really depends on what your channel is like. So for example, I'll give you another one here. Economics explained as a channel where the creator doesn't have a YouTube face, like a, what his own face. But instead, he's including the face of relevant things. So that's also an option. But if like you'll notice most of these, it does include people in them. Um, and then the best thing that you can do is literally just go against like a, a mono colored wall like the one you see here, throw on a shirt, put your phone or if you have a camera on a tripod and literally just you or somebody else just start taking a bunch of pictures, making a bunch of faces. And then you can go to a website like remove.bg and this website will basically let you remove the background from all of your pictures. So that way you have a bunch of expressions, you have a bunch of faces that you can now add on to your, um, the thumbnails that you're gonna be creating. So that's how you source that. Now let's start getting into the easy way of creating these thumbnails. Like I, I know I just shared a little bit of advanced things with you guys, but uh, I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't explain both the easy way and the more advanced things. So the thing that I love about Canva is that a lot of their templates are going to start off with perfectly contrasting col colors. So you can see here that you get uh, the black, you get the yellow, perfect contrast. Here you get purple, green, yellow, uh, all, and even the blue here, all perfect contrasting. Once again, red, um, yellow, and black. It, it's you already have a lot of the work done for you. And I am glad that we talked about the contrasting colors because then you can recognize what actually makes some of these templates good. And so all you have to do, like literally do not overthink this. One of the best questions that you can ask yourself when you're starting a business or you're starting your own venture, whether it's YouTubing or a marketing agency, whatever it is, is just how do I make this easier so that your time can be focused on where it matters, where it counts instead of 
taking like eight hours to create a thumbnail. Just how do I make this easier? And let's say we're going to be using this one. Um, in this case, I am creating a thumbnail for, I just filmed a video on whether Facebook pixels can be deleted in 2022 or not. And the answer is no. Um, so I'm going to start off by just clicking on this element here. I don't like squiggly arrows. That's just not me. Delete it. And then I'm going to start working on this. So how to, and then here we can make this a little bit wider. I'm going to do delete as this stands out, I might end up doing a, so what you have here is you have a text, but then you have a black rectangle. And so I might actually change the color of that rectangle so that it pops out a little more. And I guess this is where knowing your colors helps. And so I'll show you guys like a cool trick here. You can go over to inspect element, find anywhere that has like a little color thing over here. Like, um, see how it says transparent. You get like a little black. Let me make sure you guys can see, you can't see my mouse. So let me, um, Let's see what we can do about this. Let me bring this up for you guys. Boom. So here you can see where it says transparent. You have like this little box here. That's a color that you can pick here. You have this color thing that once again, you can pick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this. I'm going to switch it over to hex code. And then this color dropper, since I want contrast, I can go over here, click on this yellow. I can grab this color code and then Canva actually has their color wheel, which is just uh, you can Google Canva color wheel. I'll leave a link for it below. We have this color here and now we can see the complementary color to that. So I can go ahead and grab this color code now, go back here. And since I want this to pop a little more, uh, first, I'm just going to move this here, select the black, add a document color, and then boom, I can add that blue there. And now you get that perfect contrast. And then if I wanted to stand out even more, here's like another cool trick. I can control copy this square, put it right back over right where that other one is. I'm going to make this black, make it a little bit bigger. And then now I'm going to bring it back backwards until we have the blue popping up. And there we go. Now it stands out even more. how to delete Facebook pixel and uh, we are going to remove this gentleman. We don't need this here, but we'll keep it for 2022. Now, here's the thing about thumbnails is you have to understand that if people can't read the text, then it's basically wasted space. And so it's in your best interest to make it as big as possible. And so a lot of these extra details, I might end up moving them because I really want that text to pop out like the circles cool and everything. But do I really need it? No, it's much more valuable for me to use the space to get the colors to pop out. And so I'm going to highlight this entire area here. I can move this down. I can move this down. Like I basically want to make everything bigger. So move all of this stuff. And there we go. And now this thumbnail is starting to look much better. And then usually with your text, you can just have text, but, um, it's very helpful to have some kind of side graphic over there. And so I'm going to pause the video while I decide on one real quick. And so here I found a, fo a folder with just a couple of like the thumbnail type photos that I took. And I'm going to do that exact process where I'm going to upload one to remove image.bg and I'll show you guys the result. And so here we go. I just uploaded a photo, quickly removed the background, and now I am going to play around with it. So I'm going to start by adding it here, and then I'm going to be doing a couple of things to basically bring position back um, and figure out, play around with it a little bit to see how can I fit a human face on here and make it look nice. And so I just finished making some slight changes to the design here. The next thing that I want to work on is I'm going to select this image. I'm going to go to edit image. And I'm going to play around with some of the filters, the settings, the lightings here, just because I want it to, I'm going to click see all and I'm going to play around with this just so that it blends in like a tiny bit more. Okay. And so what I've done here is I've lowered the brightness a little, increased contrast, decreased saturation by a tiny bit. Um, I played around with these, uh, some of these other settings. They didn't look that great. Increased warmth, clarity. I'm keeping a no-go. So like this is a picture from months and months ago. 
um stressful times skin really bad so i don't if i like increase clarity it's just like boom so we're going to keep that down to a zero, vibrant at zero, highlights. I'm bringing them all the way down because a lot of times when you take pictures, you get that big flash. And so you can uh, kind of mitigate that a little bit just by bringing down the highlights, increase shadows a little bit. And we get a picture that looks somewhat decent. And now kind of the last thing that I want to do is I want to start adding some effects and styles to the actual text here to make it pop out more. And so to do that, you click on the text and then... Um, I like playing around with lift and shadow to see which one that I prefer. And so you get a couple, you get like the hollow, but, um, my preferred two is either shadow or lift. And in this case, because the color is black, I might do a, I'll play around and see what, like what color shadow works the best. So offset direction blur. I like doing, um, I like increasing the blur transparency is really going to depend. Uh, you should play around with these settings see which one works best for you. Um, in this case, I'm gonna do white. It looks silly now, but it ends up making, um, ends up looking a lot less silly once somebody's looking at it from like a thumbnail perspective. So just add a couple more whites here. We're gonna increase the blur. I'm gonna make it less transparent. Color, make sure it's white. Same thing with this one. Um, in this case, the shadow color, I'm going to make black. Increase the blur. Boom. And so now all of these things pop up a little more. And kind of the last thing is I might just delete the circle here. Like it doesn't really add any value. And the first time that you make your own thumbnail, it might take a little longer than you'd expect. But the better you get at it, the faster that it's going to be. But this is going to be the fastest way to create a professional thumbnail. Now, if you guys want to get Canva, um, I'm going to leave a link below. They have a ton of free templates that you can use. I like using the Pro just because there's a lot of these different elements that I like to use here that are Pro. And for the price point, it's 100% worth it for me. Um, but go around, play with some of these different templates that they have, and that is going to be the fastest way for you guys to create your own, very own template for YouTube thumbnails. If you got value out of this video, I'm going to be teaching a lot of uh, digital marketing skills at, uh, on this channel, so make sure that you like, follow, and subscribe. I'll catch you later.